kill themselves. I think this is why they said to me. that I'm grateful for all of your help thus far. I've done it. I've developed a new materia. Intel submissions. I hope you will continue to help me gather vital information for my research. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. What I've done it again. Show up. Thanks for coming, and welcome to our humble training hall. Jules, head trainer. If you've got some time to spare, how about a little bit of fun? Want to try taking on one of our guys? <laughs> You're not serious, are you? Look at him, he's a scrawny little thing. I could snap him like a twig. Now, now. I wouldn't judge this one by his muscle mass. What do you say, Cloud? If you want to give it a go, just let me know. So, you up for a round? Ha! You're taking me on? You look like a dried up old terpsichore left out in the sun. You've got no idea what you're getting into, little man. All right, enough talk. We'll settle this the tried and true traditional way. A squat off. Now, let's all see what you've got. No way I'm letting you win! Done. You've got this, come on! 
Your form's looking good. <laughs> Not bad at all. Yeah. I knew you could do it. <laughs> That's how it's done. <laughs> I knew you could do it. <laughs> Not bad at all. You've got this. Come on. Your form's looking yeah. good. <laughs> I knew you could do it. <laughs> Not bad at all. <laughs> You've got this, come on! That's how it's done! One more left! Your form's looking good! I knew you could do it! You've got this, come on! Not bad at all! That was easy. Did I lose to this scrawny little kid who looks like he doesn't even consume his daily recommended amount of protein? Ronnie, you know it's all about quality, not mass. You're too quick to judge people by their build. That and your overtrained ego are the main reasons you lost to our bold challenger here. Thanks for helping me teach my boys a valuable lesson. And sorry for dragging you into it. Cloud? We're all one big family here at this gym, and now you're part of it. If you're ever up for training, our doors are always open to you. Let's work together to maintain healthy minds and bodies. Yeah! Endurance and determination, that's what counts. If you're ever in the mood for another workout, just talk to Jay or Ronnie. You want to go, do ya? All right then, bring it on! Are you ready for this? <laughs> That's how it's done. <laughs> You've got this, uh, come on! Uh, your form uh, looks good. Yeah. Yeah. the best you can do. I knew you could do it! You've got this, come on! Not bad at all. Out, come on! I know you've got more to give! Not bad at all. You've got this, come on! Your form's looking good! I knew you could do it! Let me see you sweat! Not bad at all. Your form's looking good! That's how it's done! You've got this, come on! Ah, oh, shit! Yeah! Your form's looking good! Not bad at all! I knew you could do it! You've got this! Come on! Come on! I know you've got more to give! Your form's looking good! That's how it's done! Not bad at all! You've got this! Come on! I have faith in you guys! Your form's looking good! You've got this! Come on! That's how it's done! I knew you could do it! Not bad at all! You two are doing awesome! You've got this! Come on! Your form's looking good! I knew you could do it! No! He's never in doubt. You did it. You really beat me. You gotta be in incredible shape. <laughs> it's unfair that you guys are having all the fun. What do you say? May I have this squat? <laughs> you up for some exercise? Okay, let's have some fun. You are in the zone! You're better than I thought! Woo! I can't get enough of those beautiful muscles! I'd be this close! How much training do you do? Poetry in motion! I believe in you! Yeah, Jewel! Show that fifty how it's done! What training do you do? You are yeah. in the zone! Yeah. Slow and steady! One! Two! One! Two! Poetry in motion! Yeah. How much training do you do? Yeah. I can hear your muscles crying out in joy and pain! 
idea how strong you really were. You truly are something, aren't you? Listen up, everyone. We can be stronger, better. Let's hit those weights. You got it, Jules! Let's you and me work up a sweat. looking for work in Wall Market. Maybe you can help us sort this out. Some criminals have stolen a shipment of donations bound for the Leaf House. The fiends! The culprit is none other than the notorious Angel of the Slums. People worship her as some kind of folk hero, but there's no denying she's the one that done did it. I mean, look at this calling card. The Garden Angle 3? Well, they must have meant to write Guardian Angel. Oh, come on, Garden Angle. Listen to me. I guarantee this is not the work of the Angel. I saw it with my own eyes. Three shady-looking types wandering around, scouting their mark, I bet. Well, if you're so sure, then bring them here. Prove to me this wasn't the work of your beloved Guardian Angel. You heard the man, Merc. I've got to find those thieves to clear the Angel's name, and I need your help to do it. She would never, ever do anything to harm the less fortunate. Find the three I saw and bring them here to me. They ran off toward the old expressway on the other side of Evergreen Park. The expressway's just past Evergreen Park. Hurry, those thieves have got a head start. They won't catch themselves. Angel strikes again, suckers! <laughs> and all it took was one fake card. Too easy. 
sucks to be you, Miss Angel, but we're stealing your name and all that sweet loot. Hey, it's you! What the hell are you doing coming after us? Shit! Play dead! Play dead! Shut up! It's too late for that! <laughs> Bring it! We're ready for you this time! Wakey wakey! Time to shine! <laughs> Check out this brick shit house. We picked him up at the Coliseum. Gonna pay you back double, nah, quadruple for what you've done to us. What's a druple? Uh, uh, what are we doing? Uh, shut up! We're kicking Blondie's ass for being an ass! <laughs> Are the angels of the slums? 
Oh man, you're real stupid! We're the Garden Angels! Get it right! Shut your trap, moron! Huh. You don't honestly think that the beloved Angel of the Slums could be any of these three idiots, do you? Nah, I recognize the masks. These guys are just small-time crooks who've been pestering folks around here for a minute. Should've listened to you earlier. Sorry about this. Well, you should be sorry. I'll consider us square, once you've taught these boys a lesson. Deal. All right, get moving. Hey, watch it! Not so rough, you lummox. Yeah, you lummox, you lummox. So what about the donations? Do you need help taking them to the leaf house? Kind of you to offer, but I can manage on my own. I know these streets like the back of my hand. Better, even. It's the angel of the slums! She took the darn stuff! He's gonna be pissed! Well, I'll be seeing you. Huh. Thanks to you, we can put this mess behind us. I'm grateful. The guardian angel of the slums. Radiant defender of the downtrodden? Huh. I wonder if I'm an accomplice. That's enough of that. Should probably get back to Madame Mims. Hey there. We're a pharmacy, but we stock other stuff too. Why, hey there, champ. Got word from Madame M. She said you had time to kill before Aerith's ready for the big event. So, uh, what do you say to taking on a little extra work while you're waiting around? We've got a hell of a lot of fans clamoring to see their favorite champ go another round or ten. And something tells me they're not gonna rest until they see you kick ass again. Now get on down to the Coliseum ASAP.
Here he is, the man of the hour. Stands are packed thanks to you. Now get out there and give him a show. This challenger wanted another bite of the champ. One of Sam's favorite machines of mayhem, Cuddy. He's been sharpening his blades and dreaming of payback. Can our champ come out on top again? Fighters, begin! My people are working on her hair right now. I thought I'd take the opportunity to drop by and watch her match. <laughs> I have to admit, I never get tired of seeing Sam's precious toys take a beating. <sighs> All right. I can tell by your hands you've come a long way. They're the hands of a fighter who has found new purpose. A woman. Or two? I wonder. 
Just doing what I've always done. <laughs> anyway, Aerith should be finishing up soon. I'll go on ahead to check on her. Whenever you're ready, come back to the parlor. Hey, been waiting for you. So, what are you in the mood to fight?
Come back anytime you want to fight. Hey look, it's the champ! You know what to do. Take the elevator and head on down. I can't wait to see you. Take a deep breath. What about Tifa? I heard Corneo was gonna audition new girls soon. And Tifa's... Tifa's gonna be... I just... I, I don't know what to do. Well, I do. I'll come too! Hey, Cloud! Bro, I can call you bro, right? Nope. Just wanna say, bro, that I'm totally relieved that you're looking out for Tifa. Oh. So, like, how'd you get so strong anyway, bro? Oh. I said... The way you fight, bro, is like poetry and violence. Bam, bam, whoosh, whoosh, you know? I really wish I could be just like you. My problem is that I tend to overthink and overanalyze everything. So, bro, do you have any advice for a smart, stand-up guy like myself? No. This is it for me. Call me crazy, but uh, I have a feeling that I'll just be getting in the way. <sighs> Go find Aerith at Madame M's. Tell her to wait for me there when she's done. Think you can handle that? Yes, sir. <laughs> 